It's easy. Look, it is. It's ringing. Oh. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Can be a voter, yes, please. I'm trying to get a voter please. for voting, voting in a couple this of weeks. Is how you do it. This is Mandy. Yes. How are you? I know. So yes, you're, so voting. I'm certain. you're voting. Oh, that sounds you're voting. bad. <laughs> Actors and activists Mandy Patinkin and Catherine Grody are an unstoppable husband and wife duo who are using their platform to get out the vote, even the face, even in the face of voter suppression. Joining me now, actor, singer, and activist Mandy Patinkin and his wife, actor, writer, and activist Catherine Grody. Mandy and Catherine, it's so great to see you. Welcome back to The Sunday Show. Thank you for having us, Jonathan. That was an interesting <laughs> reminder. Doesn't that seem like 10 years ago? <laughs> I know. I know. And it wasn't that long ago. I would love, I'm sure you were listening during the conversation with Texas State Representative Jarvis Johnson and, and, and Reverend Al, would love to know, given all the work you're trying to do on voting rights, what you think about where things are at the national level on voting rights. Well, I it's staggering watching uh, the representative talk about what they've had to do to protect uh, our right to vote. You know, we, we're in an astonishing place. Every citizen in America of any party should be, this should be a collective thing. No brainer. Let's protect our right to vote. And, and, and you know, we're, we're also trying to figure out what to do, what's the best thing to do. Uh, we work with SwingLeft.org. We work with the Movement Voter Project. And it's just really simple facts that you want to have, you want to protect our democracy and you want every single human being in this country, no matter what your political affiliation, is to have their sacred right of that vote and to protect mm -hmm. it and to fight for it. And if you don't, our country is in terrible condition. I mean, you have to know that we had more people vote than have ever voted before, right, in the last election. Right. And you don't need 400 bills across the country to protect the, the safest vote that's ever happened. Every court in the land, including the Supreme Court, said this was a fair vote. Let's have some critical thinking here and protect it for all of us. We all need to work together. I, I don't want to forget something important. My son Gideon just... Uh, texted me off a, a quick note and he said, Dad, remember, tell people since 2021 alone, Republicans have introduced more than 400 bills to restrict voting rights in 49 mm -hmm. states, according to the Brennan Center, with 30 actual laws already enacted across 18 states. This is insanity. This is our country, our sacred right, our constitution. Every human being has a vote. Protect that vote, not just for Democrats, for Republicans, for independents, for every human being in America, for God's sake. I mean, we all have to protect each other's rights to votes. And if they're suppressing right. it for people of color, they're going to suppress it for you. Next. Oh, and I meant to say earlier, you know, sometimes I get confused. There's so many different bet between the, uh, the, the, the For the People's Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Go to swingleft.org. Go to the Movement Voters Project. Look at Stacey Abrams' fair fight. She'll explain it simply. Call your senators. Tell them you're on them. They represent you. The majority of people in this country want our vote protected, not denied. And we also have the information on our social media. And go through it. Take time. It's complicated. It's friggin' but complicated. But it is your future. Sorry, I'll shut up. Hey, can I ask a question, teacher? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you're the moderator. I know, right? Right. Uh, all right. So here, here's a here's a serious here's a serious question because the passion that you both have is undeniable, and it is undeniable, you know, why you have it. So here, it's a. If you were to get a phone call from President Biden, what would you t what would you demand that he do? on this, on the matter of voting rights. I'll leave it to my bride. Oh my God, it's terrifying. I would beg him to listen to Reverend Al about if we can't get rid of the filibuster, do the carve out. I would say, forget this whole notion, this bipartisan right. thing, you know? Get every Democrat you can, get every decent Republican you can find, 
get this law passed and protect us. I don't know what you have to do. I'm not president. Right. We have an we have an unusual opportunity here where we have the Congress and we have the White House because of the hard work was the, that was done to get out the vote. We have a democratic system at this moment, and we need to use that opportunity to work out a carve out carve out that Stacey worked out with with um, Manchin. Uh, Manchin, as Catherine just said, and and to and to look, you know, it'd be lovely if it could be bipartisan. We all wish everything could be. We must never stop working for that. At the same time, we have a moment of opportunity here. And when you restrict the vote, when you suppress the vote, that is exactly what happens in these other countries like Hungary and China and Russia and happened in Germany. And that is the road to the end of democracy and to the worst imaginary scenario. This is how it starts. I would tell Biden and smell, I support him totally, but smell the present moment. It is not like it was in 1965 when we were able to pass that. And we all work, we all work so hard to make this moment be alive and, and embrace it and cherish it and use your God-given right to express your vote and your voice. And facts and the truth, Jonathan. And if January 6th didn't scare the heck out of everybody, it should. Stacey. Everybody S should protect Stacey us. Abrams has a great thing. We have it yeah. on our Instagram. We have it on our Twitter. And, and I'm sure it's everywhere. Fair fight. Where she tells you how to call. It's very funny to watch being interviewed by the senators. She takes you through the whole thing. <laughs> watch it. Find it. And she'll just show you what to do. Because she says something very important. That even if you know your senator yeah. isn't going to be for it, you call him. He's your representative. He's working pressure. for you. And you put pressure on them. That is your right. And that is their job to listen to you.